everybody, I'm Johnny from Nine Lives Racing. Today we're gonna to be going over the five tips for aerodynamic parts that you can put on your car that come off of a GT3 race car. So before we dive into what's gonna work on your car, we should probably talk about what's not gonna work on your car. There's a lot of aerodynamic parts that just simply you can't take off of something else, put it on your car and expect it to work. The big one, of course, is the diffuser. Diffusers take a lot of mapping out, a lot of CFD work, a lot of wind tunnel data just to make it work right. So we're not gonna be covering these. The things we will be covering are a lot of things that we tested on our personal car that we know slapped it on and bang it'll work and that'll mean bang it'll work for you. First on our list is of course a big wing. Big wings like this can make you a lot of downforce for it. Uh, they work on every single car and of course makes it look like a real race car. Pro cars like this, wing like this, cost around $7,000. Of course if you're building your own car you don't need to be going at a Mercedes AMG prices, we can be found for substantially less. What matters the most when you're shopping for a wing, of course, is that it works. There's a lot of wing manufacturers out there and some of them are out there for looks. Do some homework and check it out. Uh, make sure that, that wing is gonna work on your car. So number two on our list, of course, big splitter. Um, you need something to balance out that wing. Of course, these pro cars have uh, a giant, massive carbon fiber front splitter. Generally, you can do that at home. Cut it out of uh, half inch Burks works pretty good. Or of course, maybe take some classes, learn how to do some carbon fiber uh, composite work. These, uh, these splitters will make a tremendous amount of downforce to match that wing. So that way it gives you a nice, even, balanced platform. Splitters make downforce by, of course, splitting the air. So it sends a high pressure uh, field, or high pressure amount of air up over the top of the car, and then that allows very low pressure air underneath the car. Low pressure air underneath means that it gets pulled down to the earth. The closer that guy is to the ground, the more it'll work. So a lot of questions we get is, how big should I make the splitter? Generally, that depends on your aero, overall aero balance. Of course, if you've come over to Nine Lives, we have pre-made splitter templates. So that way, if you want to make one yourself, that'll set the exact size splitter to match the wing. Um, but generally, for a rule of thumb, once you start getting about five inches out, it starts going into no man's land, and it really stops making any extra downforce. But I would say about five inches is about the max you'd really want to go. So if you're going out that far and you're not using the carbon fiber and you're using more of like a plywood option, it really depends on your bracing internally if you need external bracing, you know, splitter rods or things like that. You really want something like this that doesn't move, it's as solid as possible. That's the real key, having a lot of strength in it. So if you get done building it and it's floppy, you probably need to start adding some supports to it. Should you do a splitter without a wing? The answer I always say is no, absolutely not. Because if you do that, the front tires will be pulled down to the ground, the rear tires are gonna be lifted up off the, the ground by your, your roof height, because the roofs end up making lift. Um, and I call that instant suicide. So do a wing first, that'll settle the car down in the rear. That'll keep it pointed in a good direction. And then add a splitter second. That's why that's uh, number two on our list. Okay, so number three on our list. Now it's number three because it comes after the splitter are these vents and defenders. Every, when you have a splitter and it's making downforce, that air is getting trapped and it's getting shoved through. So what a lot of these, uh, the manufacturers will do, they'll have these big vents. And all this vent does is remove that air that's coming off that splitter and it pulls it out the side of the car. On your car, you can kind of go into it and try to make it look good, but we always recommend kind of a bit more coming off of the side and allow that air to come around as best you can. Easiest way to do it is just cut a hole, add a little bit of sheet metal around it, and boom, you're off and rocking. But yeah, these, these vendors can make a tremendous amount of downforce on our car. When we tested it, it increases the splitter's performance by almost 15%. So that's a lot of front, extra front downforce, and front downforce is very hard to get. So number four on our list are splitter ramps. Splitter ramps are a way to add some shape to your splitter. Traditionally, splitters are just a big flat object, and flat objects have a hard time in air to make downforce. So what we do here is we add in a big swoop, if you would, um, and the same thing that these cars do, where it accelerates the air that's going underneath your splitter and it forces it out. And hopefully it aims it right at your fender vents. Uh, it's just one of these extra ways, it's a small thing that can really improve a lot of downforce on your car. On the fifth and final one, these guys actually did some pretty impressive work on our CFD work and they're really easy to adapt to your own car. What they are is a, a diffuser that sits on your side skirt. So if you take a little video, pan it under, and then we can come back. So these guys will, uh, it's a little diffuser that sits on the side skirt. On our car, we took uh, just a cutoff uh, wing end, which we call mini wings, started to sell our website for under $40. 
um, and we put it into the side skirts. It netted over 130 pounds of downforce in our testing. And they're just a real simple way to add some really central good downforce. So big thanks to Korthoff for letting us use their very nice GT3 car. Uh, and if you need to learn more about aerodynamics, click this video above. Support brands who support grassroots motorsports. Get your chemical solutions from CRC Industries. To learn more, visit crcindustries.com. Want to see more content like this? Make sure to hit that subscribe button and like this video. And for more information, visit us online at grassrootsmotorsports.com.